Sir, do not get violent. Instead, allow me to please you with the art of music. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, <laughs> the internet's tiredest music nerd. And it's time for a review, Spiritualized, Sweetheart, Sweet Light. Spiritualized is a band fronted by singer-songwriter Jason Pierce, who, with this band and his previous band, Spaceman 3, has combined over 30 years of songwriting experience in garage rock, psychedelic rock, shoegaze music, and the more colorful cousin to psychedelic rock, space rock. And with albums like Ladies and Gentlemen, We Are Floating in Outer Space and Let It Come Down, this band has gained a reputation for, for creating this music with a really symphonic, orchestral edge. Just arranging rock songs with tons of strings, horns, piano as well, and a lot of the time spiritualized will make use of long jam style grooves that just kind of go on forever. A lot like the band Godspeed You Black Emperor, Spiritualized knows how to make arrangements, instrumentation kind of surrounding the rock instrumentation, rock. Just because strings come in, it doesn't mean that a song that Spiritualized puts together loses its energy or just its rock ing Ness. Usually when more instrumentation hops into a spiritualized song, the intensity rises. Especially when these guys are just putting together some really noisy and psychedelic drones. And a lot of these really hard, relentless, noisy, and droney jams that these guys put together are kind of leveled out with these sweeter songs that are inspired by, by gospel and either orchestral or just baroque pop. Now, after explaining that, I have to say the band's past two records have been a little bit of a departure. The album Amazing Grace was definitely a bit simpler than your average spiritualized album. The band kind of rendering itself down to mostly its, its garage rock elements, playing some really noisy, ballsy tracks all over this album. And of course there was variety on this thing. Some softer songs made it onto here too. And the album songs in A and E was definitely simpler too, but was much sweeter, softer, and sadder too. Now here we have Spiritualized's latest album, Sweetheart Sweet Light, and while it is not as psychedelic as some of their most acclaimed stuff, or noisy, or long, it is still a very kick-ass album with a great flow. The LP starts with a, a little bit of a return to form for Spiritualized, the nine minute track, Hey Jane. Very simple drumming, buzzing guitar leads, and the story of, of what seems to me to be falling in love with a girl who who has a rotten soul, someone who's probably bad for you. The track seems like a normal garage rock song, has a nice groove to it, but it eventually kind of gets decked out in true spiritualized fashion when it kind of morphs into a into a noisy jam. It's like a free rock jam, and then there's a, a stop a slow buildup, and this buildup is a lot like a snowball just rolling down a hill and as it progresses it goes faster and just gains more snow, aka sound. Strings, guitars, background singers, just straight up dissonance. The track heading for the top now is, is a bit of a return to form to me too. It's a very repetitious garage rock groove jammed out in this very velvet underground sister ray kind of way. And as the song progresses, these woodwinds start fighting to kind of be heard, and, and, and Jason's really weary vocal is kind of laying on top of all of it. And there are a lot of spots on here too where, where that poppier and, and sweeter side of songs in A and E comes out, but it feels way more detailed, feels more refined. The interjecting strings on the song Little Girl changed that track from feeling like just kind of a normal rock song to something that had a nice extra special touch to it. The song Too Late on here, which hits around the middle of the album, it's a sadder song on this LP, it has this lush string opening that feels like it, it would be more appropriate for like a Disney soundtrack. And the only thing that makes the song so awesome to me is that matched with these really honey-kissed strings are these extremely bitter, 
lyrics in relation to love. Love is breaking hearts, it's blinding eyes, it's burning people and ruining lives, and Jason's mama in the lyrics is recommending he stays away from it, but he, like everyone on this planet, is tempted. The track is corny, but it felt sincere to me, so I don't know, couldn't help but get wrapped up in it. But the issue for me is, is that later on this album, there are some songs that kind of feel like this song. I get a bit of deja vu, especially on the song Freedom, which, which has a different progression to it, but the chords and the melody and just the, the instrumental swells on the track just feel too similar, I guess. And while I'm complaining, I guess I'll talk about the tracks Get What You Deserve and I Am What I Am, where I'm not really huge on the jams on those tracks. They are really noisy, but the instruments don't exactly feel like they're playing off one another, so it never really gets to the point where it feels fiery and exciting. The background singers on I Am What I Am are still a nice touch, though, and these tracks and all throughout the entire album, the production is great, the recording's fantastic, all the instruments just sound so crisp and rich and clear and The album ends with a trio of songs that I think are pretty fantastic. The really sharp and depressing song, Mary, and then after that comes Life is a Problem. The track lays on this really soft bed of, of, of arranged strings and it feels so much like a, a lullaby. The melody has a kind of gospel quality to it and in the lyrics Jason kind of begs for for Jesus to come and take sin away from him kind of because he fears not getting into heaven but the thing is he acknowledges that God and Jesus exist he acknowledges that he he is a religious person but he also acknowledges that he is weak too weak to either follow the rules and regulations to get into heaven or just be a very good and, and pure person. Jason is as accepting of God as he is his weakness and inability to do what God needs him to do. A lot of the lyrics on this thing just delve into personal struggles with, with good and evil, vices and purity, the rules of being religious and the difficulties of, of being human, and all these personal feelings and philosophies that are kind of at odds with one another are enhanced and, and painted in the music with these really rough rock tunes and beautifully arranged orchestral pop songs. Maybe it's an unintended concept, but a concept all the same and a really cool common thread that I think brings this whole album together. This thing, like I said, has great production, spiritualized brings in lots of instrumentation without turning these tracks sterile. All the instruments sound great. The songwriting on this thing is pretty good. Lyrics hit me emotionally. The vocal delivery is great, really convincing. Like I said, sometimes the lyrics can be a bit corny, but spiritualized has enough personality on here to make me see past that, I guess. Kind of feeling a light to decent eight on here, but what do you guys think of it? Do you love this album? Did it make you get down on your knees and, and pray for forgiveness and, and think about your soul and your future and your purity? Or instead, did it make you want to open up a bag of chips and kind of sit in front of the TV and gorge yourself on snacks until you pass out? Let me know. Anthony Fantano, spiritualized forever. Mm -hmm.